So yesterday we announced uh, our engine script, uh, our version of our implementation of uh, JavaScript. And today I will uh, tell more detail, details about uh, this pro uh, project. <coughs> so uh, since since uh, beginning of uh, Nginx development, I thought that uh, Nginx should have some uh, capability to script, to scripting, to script uh, inside uh, the server. And the first attempt was made in 2005. I tried to embed a Perl because uh, it was and still my favorite language for various scripting things. Uh, but Perl has some drawbacks that uh, make, uh, make, make them in, unsuitable to embed to, in, in the server. For example, on memory shortage, uh, Perl just exists. And it's, it may be acceptable in uh, scripts, but uh, very bad for server, because server should behave more gracefully in this uh, case. <clears throat> uh, time passes, and uh, there, uh, there's uh, Lua uh, language has been embedded inside Perl. There is uh, there is third-party module that that uh, does this work, but uh, Lua has some. Oddities. If you know a program with Lua, you will see the strange syntax, strange syntax which is not uh, compatible with C. Uh, you will see strange regular expressions, syntax which uh, very unusual for people familiar with usual regular expressions. Uh, JavaScript also has a lot of strangers and oddities. But uh, people usually used to uh, these strangers. And uh, they uh, think that this is normal things. And uh, in the case of Lua, they, get, they have to get used uh, to these strangers again. So, uh, since uh, JavaScript is much more popular than Lua, I, uh, I decided that JavaScript will be much better uh, choice than Lua interpreter. Lua is a niche, pro uh, niche language. Uh, if you look at GitHub statistics, you will see that uh, JavaScript on the first place, uh, uh, and Lua is even not in the first top languages. So I decided to use, uh, to use uh, JavaScript for, uh, for this task. There, is, there are several uh, JavaScript implementations by Google, uh, Mozilla, and Apple. Uh, these all engines are very good, but they are suited. Uh, they are was written, was developed uh, for browser environment. And uh, many features that these engines uh, have uh, for browsers. For example, <coughs> uh, if we take, for example, V8, they have several issues that uh, make it difficult to use in server environment. Uh, the first one is portability. JIT of uh, V8, uh, JIT. Uh, JIT's uh, JavaScript code just in machine code. And uh, this uh, limit, limits uh, using V8 only on some set of uh, hardware platform. For example, currently V8 limited to uh, Intel CPUs, ARM, and there is also uh, implementations for MIPS and probably for PowerPC. Uh, the second thing is memory issues. 
uh, V8 run in one browser tab, and if uh, it will be out of memory, it will be uh, this tab maybe just close it. Oh, uh, and this is not acceptable for servers. Uh, servers should behave gracefully in this case. It just should close uh, one uh, request and continue to process other requests. Uh, the, the next thing I think is preemption. Uh, there is no easy way to, uh, to use one V8 and preempt uh, and run to another V8 uh, virtual machine. And uh, the last uh, thing is uh, changing uh, API change, uh, changes by Google. Uh, if you probably know, uh, Node.js uh, always uh, use some uh, use versions that is not latest one, because uh, Google change API quite often, and uh, developers simply cannot. Uh, catch up with Google uh, speed. Uh, so I decided to write my own JavaScript implementations. Uh, we run uh, virtual machines per request. So we do not share uh, one virtual machine, uh, JavaScript virtual machine, as, for example, Node.js does. Uh, this approach allows uh, us to uh, preempt these machines very uh, with, without any uh, issues. Uh, and also, we, in many cases, for short-living requests, we don't need uh, mem uh, garbage collection at all. We just can throw this virtual machine uh, when uh, request will be complete. Uh, in Node.js, uh, not just should run uh, garbage collector if there is some memory shortage. <clears throat> so all these virtual machines share the same bytecode, which compile it uh, at uh, startup time. And uh, the start of, of a virtual machine is uh, quite cheap. We just need to allocate memory and copy some initial values uh, to this memory. Uh, the teardown is even uh, cheaper. We just uh, free all allocated memory. So it should be fast. <coughs> uh, the, current, uh, the current state of our implementations is uh, ECMAScript subset. Uh, we still do not support closures. Uh, we now support some built-in objects, something like date, math, etc. Uh, but we plan it to add, uh, all, uh, add all these things at the end of the year. Uh, currently, we have no garbage collector. And as I already said, uh, this collector is not required for short-living requests. But we plan to support uh, long-lived long connections, some with web, uh, with web circuit, for example. And in this case, uh, garbage collector uh, may be required. And we currently now support JIT. We use bytecode. Bytecode allows to run, it, run uh, JavaScript on any platform when you can build this JavaScript. Uh, we plan to add JIT uh, later using probably using uh, uh, low-level virtual machines project. But it's not uh, the task for the uh, uh, near future. Uh, we uh, released, uh, yesterday we released uh, our engine script uh, to get feedback, uh, feedback on uh, interface, on JavaScript interface, uh, which we use to work with uh, Nginx internals. Uh, this is a short overview of uh, this interface. We have a dollar $R uh, object which represent request. And this uh, object has uh, several um, f uh, fields, methods, URI, arguments, HTTP version, headers, and remote address. Uh, uh, this list will, be, uh, will 
uh, expand in the future. For the uh, for response, uh, there is another f object inside uh, request object status, uh, which allows to work with uh, response status, headers, content type, and content length. And there is also uh, three methods that allows uh, you to uh, send response to the client. Uh, this is a short overview of the uh, of the interface, of JavaScript interface. We, uh, uh, as, as I already said, uh, we want uh, to get feedback how uh, JavaScript developers will be comfortable with this interface, because uh, we, we uh, heard a, lo a lot of different opinions of how this interface should be implemented. Should it be functions? Should it be objects, uh, etc. So, on, based on this feedback, we will uh, plan our next changes, our, uh, how we will develop this project. Uh, that's all, and I'm ready to, uh, to answer possible questions. Igor, what phases does this execute at? Uh, sorry, what? what? What phases of the module, you know, of the request what, uh, processing? Currently, uh, JavaScript can be used um, for declaring, uh, defining variables, and it can be run in uh, content generate, uh, generating phase. Uh, there is other phases in Nginx, uh, for example, access uh, phase, uh, log uh, writing phase, uh, we will add, uh, eventually we, we will add support for these phases. But currently it limited only to um, content generation phase. And uh, I forget I forget to note that uh, Bytecode is a uh, register-based machine. It's, this is not stake-based. And uh, the size of the virtual machine is uh, quite small uh, for small tasks, it takes about uh, several kilobytes uh, of memory. Uh, so it should be a lightweight virtual machine. Other questions? Hi, Igor. Uh, did you do any comparisons to LuaJIT? Sorry, what? Any benchmarking against LuaJIT? No, uh, well, <clears throat> when I started this project, uh, I ran some simple benchmark. Uh, uh, w w since I suppose that the most, uh, uh, the most often task was, was uh, often task will be concatenating uh, strings and working with strings. I wrote uh, a simple, stupid uh, benchmark uh, evaluating uh, Fibonacci numbers uh, using concatenating strings. For example, you just, uh, in instead of adding numbers, uh, this is the first, uh, this is uh, the slowest algorithm uh, to get Fibonacci number. Uh, it calls recursively. Uh, add uh, to numbers, and uh, I changed the numbers to strings, and uh, at the end of the procedure, I just uh, count the length of the string. So I uh, wrote this benchmark in many scripting, and not, not only scripting languages, and uh, our implementations is comparable with, uh, uh, with Perl, with Ruby, with PHP, with Lua, uh, not Lua JIT. And, uh, and uh, of course, it's slower than Lua JIT. And uh, it's slower than JavaScript uh, implementations, uh, uh, JavaScript v, V8, Spider Monkey, and uh, 
uh, JavaScript core, which use JIT for these operations. It's lower. But uh, it's comparable with uh, popular uh, scripting languages like PHP, Ruby, and Python, Python and Perl. Uh, so th this benchmark actually, this micro benchmark actually tests the overhead of function call and uh, concaten concatenating strings. So I believe this, this uh, will be uh, the most, impo uh, most often task in uh, uh, scripting uh, inside Nginx. Of course, it's not, it's not uh, suitable to, for some math operations, for encryptions, uh, uh, for compressing, etc. It's, uh, it's, it's good for string manipulations. And actually, this is the most important uh, task in server environment. Other questions? Oh, thanks.